Yo, what's up? So, ito yung continuation para sa discussion natin para sa pump. So, part pa rin ito ng discussion tungkol sa water supply engineering. And from our discussion, napag-usapan natin yung tungkol sa dalawang required na hydraulic properties na kailangan nating makompute bago tayo makapag-specify ng pumps. Ito yung flow rate capacity o flow capacity at yung total dynamic head. So, once na compute natin, itong dalawang properties na to ay makocompute na din o madedetermine na rin natin yung required na power rating para dun sa pump. So, alam naman natin that power is needed in order for a pump to operate and power is being consumed no, from its initial requirement which is the electrical power up to its final output which is pressurized water or high energy water. So, itong power na to yung magiging general representation natin for the total capacity of a specific pump. So, yung usual na unit na ginagamit natin in specifying a pump model is in terms of either horsepower or in kilowatts. So, the term horsepower was introduced by James Watt in the 1780s and it was used to compare the output power of steam engines with the typical power of draft horses. So, ano nga ba yung naging comparison? So, it was found out and estimated that a typical draft horse can lift a load of 33,000 pounds in a displacement of 1 foot and in a span of time of 1 minute. So, ito na rin yung equivalent ng 1 horsepower. So, yung work created is 33,000 pound foot in a span of 1 minute or 33,000 pound foot per minute. So, with that said, ito pa yung other conversion factors na pwede natin gamitin in converting the value of 1 horsepower into other units of power. So, discuss natin yung basic setup ng isang centrifugal pump. Since centrifugal pumps din naman yung usual na ginagamit na pumps for water supply and distribution system. So, centrifugal pumps can be in different types with regards to orientation. So, ang ibig sabihin ko dito ay kung paano nakaposisyon yung bawat parts ng isang centrifugal pump. So, with regards to orientation, merong naka-horizontal na centrifugal pump which is nakapahiga. O di kaya naman merong ang orientation is vertical or vertically o nakatayo. At pero din namang klase ng centrifugal pumps that can be submerged. No? So ang tinutukoy ko dito ay yung motor at yung pump nitong centrifugal pump setup. Pero iisa lang halos yung components ng setup ng isang centrifugal pump. So there should be a motor. So the motor will require electrical power in order for it to operate. So from motor a rotor which is rotating, syempre kaya nga siya tinawag na rotor, will transfer energy to a shaft. So, itong shaft na to will then be connected and transfer energy to an impeller. So, hindi natin makaklassify ang isang pump kung siya ay centrifugal pump kung hindi impeller yung mismong uh, rotating component nitong pump na to. So, from the veins o yung blades ng impeller, water is being pushed outward to the volute and towards to the outlet of the pump. So, itong volute na to is part na nung casing ng centrifugal pump. So, doon naman sa tinatawag na eye ng impeller which is nag-serve din as the inlet, yun naman yung portion that has very very low in terms of pressure. At since mababa nga yung pressure sa portion na yun ay nagkakaroon ng suction. At since meron nga suction, then more water comes inside the inlet of the pump. So from the rotating impeller, since umiikot nga siya and causing mechanical energy, it will be then transferred into high energy or pressurized water which is yun yung main output ng pump natin. So to simplify, the setup would be a motor, a pump, and the output would be high energy water. So let's discuss on computing for the power for each part of the setup. So let's start on motor. So yung input power for motor is electrical power. And let's denote that electrical power as MHP or the motor horsepower. Since um, horsepower nga yung gagamitin nating standard unit for power para dito sa pumps. So yung output power naman sa motor, since nag-require na nga tayo ng electrical power as power input para dun sa motor, ang magiging output naman niya would be the rotating motion of the shaft. Since rotating nga ito, 
uh, ito ay mechanical power na. No? So, na-convert na o na-transfer na yung electrical power into mechanical power or mechanical energy. So, let's denote that as BHP o tinatawag din nating brake horse power. At since meron yung transfer of energy, eh, magkaiba na syempre yung value ng power input dun sa power output para dun sa motor. So, dito na papasok yung term na ginagamit natin for machines and mechanisms na efficiency. So, ito yung magsasabi kung gaano ka-efficient since efficiency nga siya or kagano kaganda yung performance na isang machine. So, sa paglaki or sa pagtaas ng value ng efficiency ay sa pagliit naman ng difference between the power output and the power input. So, para sa motor, we can call that efficiency as motor efficiency since efficiency nga siya ng motor and it is represented by the ratio between power output over the power input or the ratio between BHP or brake horsepower over MHP or motor horsepower. So yung output power or output energy naman ng motor ay matatransfer out na dun sa pump. At yung mechanical power o yung BHP of the rotating shaft will be then received by the impeller of the pump. So yung impeller, syempre, yung magiging main na rotating component para dun sa pump. So with that said, yung BHP o yung brake horsepower is now the power input para dun sa pump. At alam na rin natin that the ultimate output para dun sa pump is high energy water or pressurized water. So, pwede nating tawagin yung power para dun as hydraulic power. And let's denote that hydraulic power as WHP since water supply and distribution nga yung pinag-uusapan natin o water horse power. So, tulad lang lang sa motor ay may consider din tayong efficiency para sa pump. So, tawagin natin tong pump efficiency since ito nga ay efficiency ng pump. And it is represented by the ratio between the power output over the power input whereas ang power output natin would be WHP or water horsepower over the power input which is BHP or brake horsepower. So, para sa mas detailed na explanation para dito sa mga nabanggit natin na power ay ito yung derivations para sa mga gagamitin nating mga formulas. So ngayon ay balikan natin yung basic components ng isang centrifugal pump setup. So gaya nga nung nabanggit from our discussion ay eh, nandyan ang motor and pump and yung output which is pressurized or high energy water. So ulitin ko lang na ang required na power o yung power input para sa motor ay MHP or motor horse power at ito rin yung tinatawag nating electrical power. Para naman sa power output ng motor, ito naman yung BHP. So BHP na din yung magsisilbing power input para sa pump. So ito yung brake horse power o pwede rin nating tawagin as mechanical power. At yung final output naman, at once na matransfer na itong mechanical energy, ang output would be WHP. So ito na yung magiging power output para sa pump. So WHP is water horsepower or high pressure or high energy water o pwede rin nating tawagin as hydraulic power. So for motor, meron yung motor efficiency. Para naman sa pump, ito yung pump efficiency. So ngayon ay isolate natin yung mga nabanggit na components at simulan natin sa pump. So para sa pump, ang output ng pump is water horsepower, then ang input para sa pump is brake horsepower, and within that pump has a pump efficiency. So recall lang natin from hydraulics that efficiency para sa pump no, or pump efficiency is equal to the power output over the power input. And in this case, power output is represented by WHP or water horsepower over BHP or brake horsepower as the power input. So from hydraulics, power output is represented by the equation. Power output is equal to Q times gamma times E, wherein Q is the flow rate. So in our discussion, we call it as flow capacity. Also, gamma is the fluid specific weight. Since water naman yung pinag-uusapan natin, ang gagamitin natin gamma would be 9.81 kN per cubic meter or 62.4 pounds per cubic feet. E is the head added by the pump 
So it is denoted as H A in a hydraulics, and in our discussion, we also denote it as P D H or the total dynamic head. So yung E is also equivalent to P D H or the total dynamic head. So what if ang gamitin nating units ay yung usual na pag-specify ng mga pumps? So para sa power, ang gagamitin natin ay horsepower sa Q. So yung usual na ginagamit in specifying flow capacity is gallons per minute, minsan liters per second. Pero gamitin natin is yung usual which is yung gallons per minute. And para sa total dynamic head, ang gagamitin natin ay in feet. So ano kaya yung magiging formula kapag ka itong mga units na to yung ginamit natin? So ito yung derivation. So power output is also equivalent to water horsepower or WHP. So power output, so yung gagamitin natin Q should be in gallons per minute or GPM. Then yung para naman sa specific weight, since specific weight of a fluid is also equivalent to the specific gravity of that fluid times the specific weight of water. So ngayon, Dito sa ating derivation, since water horsepower naman ito, yung gagamitin natin o yung i-consider nating fluid is water. So, yung specific gravity of water is 1 at makakancel out lang din yun dito sa ating formula. So, that is gamma of water times 1 times E o yung total dynamic head o yung head added by the pump which is in feet. And mag-substitute tayo ng value dito para dun sa gamma ng water. At kung mapapansin nyo, dun sa ating naging equation, yung E, o yung total dynamic head, should be in terms of feet. So, ang gamitin na natin dito na gamma for water is yung 62.4 pounds per cubic feet para unified siya dun sa ating total dynamic head. Since yung ginamit nating specific weight is in terms of cubic feet, ay i-convert natin itong cubic feet na to into gallons para unified na rin siya. So, 1 cubic feet is equivalent to 7.48052 gallons. And let's evaluate further. So ngayon, since in terms of gallons na yung ating specific weight ay makakancel out na siya dun sa ating Q. So, ang matitira na lang dito is pound feet per minute. So, convert natin itong unit na pound feet per minute dun sa conversion factor natin for 1 horsepower. So, ang equivalent ng 1 horsepower in terms of pound feet per minute is 33,000 pound feet per minute. So, divide natin siya dun sa ating equation. So, ngayon, since na-establish na natin at magiging horsepower na yung magiging answer dito sa ating equation, ay evaluate natin or i-compute natin kung ano yung magiging value nitong mga constants na existing dito sa ating equation. So, input natin sa calculator, that is 62.4 times 1 over 7.48052 all over 33,000. So ngayon, ang makokompute nating value dyan is 2.5277 times 10 to the negative 4. So ito ay sa numerator natin ilalagay itong coefficient na to. Kaya lang, pwede natin din siyang ilagay sa denominator. So ang gagawin lang natin ay re-reciprocate lang natin yung na-compute nating value. So that is 1 over answer. So the computed value is 3,956.044. So from references, itong value na to ay ni round off to the nearest tens. So nagi siyang 3,960 or 3,960. So since nireciprocate nga natin yung computed value natin, ilalagay natin tong value na 3,960 sa denominator ng ating formula. So yung magiging formula na natin for output power para sa pump o water horsepower would be water horsepower is equal to Q or the flow capacity in GPM multiplied to total dynamic head which is in feet times kung ibang fluid man to times the specific gravity of that fluid pero kung water naman ay 1 lang yung specific gravity. Pero ilagay na natin to sa ating formula times specific gravity all over 3960 o yung na-compute natin na coefficient. Wherein, water horsepower, syempre, horsepower na nga yung tinukoy natin para dun sa power da yun, eh, in terms of horsepower siya. So, ang sunod naman ay paano natin mako-compute yung BHP o yung brake horsepower o yung power input para dun sa pump. 
Kunin natin siya dun sa formula for pump efficiency that is pump efficiency is equal to water horsepower over brake horsepower. And brake horsepower is equivalent to water horsepower over pump efficiency upon transposing. So, substituting the formula for water horsepower as derived, so yung brake horsepower is BHP is equal to Q o yung flow capacity ng pump in GPM times the total dynamic head in feet times the specific gravity of that fluid. At since water naman yung pinag-uusapan nating fluid, then SG or specific gravity is also equivalent to 1 over 3960 times the pump efficiency. So, ito na din yung gagamitin nating working equation or formula for the power input for pump o yung brake horsepower o BHP. So, ang sunod naman na component, once na makompute natin yung para sa pump, pakocompute na rin natin yung para sa motor. So, i-isolate natin yung para dun sa motor. So, for motor, ang power output is brake horsepower o BHP. Ang power input naman is the electrical power or MHP. And within that motor, there is a motor efficiency. So, yung formula for motor efficiency is brake horsepower or BHP over MHP or yung motor horsepower. At para makompute naman natin yung motor horsepower since nakompute na nga natin o na-derive na natin yung formula na gagamitin for brake horsepower, then MHP is equal to BHP over motor efficiency. So, tinranspose lang natin yung formula for efficiency. So, since meron na nga tayong formula for BHP, ay substitute lang natin yung na-compute o yung na-derive nating formula for that. So, yung magiging formula for MHP would be MHP is equal to Q or the flow capacity in GPM times the total dynamic head in feet times the specific gravity of the fluid. So, since water nga lang din yung pinag-usapan natin, specific gravity is 1 all over 3960 times pump efficiency times the motor efficiency. So, ito na din yung pwede nating magamit na formula para makompute natin yung electrical power o yung MHP o yung motor horsepower o yung power input para dun sa motors. Ang dami ko nasabi. Para dito sa motor horsepower na to, ito yung pwede rin nating magamit na reference value para sa naging power consumption ng pump. So this is in relation to the power consumption from the operation of the pump. At para naman dun sa overall efficiency, meaning yung buong setup na yung tinutukoy natin dito, ang kukunin nating output and input dito ay yung ultimate na. So yung ultimate output would be WHP and yung ultimate na input is MHP. So overall efficiency is equal to WHP over MHP. And that's it for this content. So if you're interested to contents related to sanitary engineering or maybe engineering in general, consider on subscribing to this channel. Thank you so much.